there's an interesting thing happening in Australia at the moment, and um, our beloved leader, Tony Abbott, probably one of the worst prime ministers we've will ever have in our history. He's um, literally being a minion for all corporations. As I've said in the past, um, all politicians have a duty of care to ensure that a standard of living that people are accustomed to in a, in, a, in a nation is kept close to that centre. And um, the GFC, for instance, the global financial crisis existed because the elites thought to themselves, we've got a quite a large middle class and um, what we'll do now is in order to get even wealthier, we'll strip the middle class of their assets. And that's what we're seeing now across the globe in every country, especially in developed countries like England, France, Germany, America, Canada, here in Australia and New Zealand. Okay. So the politicians of every nation are literally doing exactly as the corporations are asking them to do. Over here at the moment where, where there's a big there's a big battle about um, reducing our wages. And we as the masses, we as the people of this country, have to, have to voice our opinions because when you fight for a certain minimum wage, you tend to get it, you know. People power will always be, a, be an entity not to be messed with, okay. Um, there's many, many facets in our daily lives here in Australia where they're trying to take from us in any, any way possible, okay? Yeah, look, I normally don't discuss Australian politics because it bores me, to be quite honest. Like I've, I've stated in other videos, Australia is the 51st state of America, you know, a tiny little backwater place. And although those who live here think it's awesome, and it is, it is, it's a beautiful place, but um, the way that um, economics and the political strategies being put in place are disgraceful. Um, you've got in situations where with university fees have been put up. And this is because what's happened is uh, a lot of people are sending their kids here overseas to, to, uh, to go to our universities. And um, what they do is they pay for the fees up front. Because they're quite wealthy people, okay, whether they come from China, India, or any other part of the world. And they're wealthy people, and they, they will pay the fee of 80000 up front, okay? So the government here has put it upon themselves that, oh, we don't need the local people, the, the citizens of Australia to go to university. Forget about it. You know, we'll just get this money that comes in, comes in, you know, in, 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 gro in massive amounts, you know? And they don't care, and that's why they've done this. And... Um, there's other things like our sickies, our work, our, our sick leave, and um, and they they're trying to reduce that. And um, on top of that, also the doctors here, our medical system, Medicare was for free, and now they're asking all people to pay twenty dollars to um, go every time you go and attend a doctor's clinic. And to people all over the world, they might not see much, but what's happening in Australia is house prices are through the roof. Okay, like um, your average home in, in Melbourne is somewhere around about the 500,000 mark, okay? And in Sydney, it's probably even higher, around about 600. And we're talking average homes and usually not too close to the CBD. So if you do work in the city, you'll, you'll need public transport and the public transport seems to be chock-a-block, okay? Look, they're, they're, they're like I said, they're... they're Across the globe, politicians in every government from every developed nation have put in a strategy from the GFC of 2008 that we are going to deplete the middle class's assets, okay? Because that was the only way the elites could get wealthier. So where the middle class people would have two or three homes, now they'll have to sell a home to ensure that their kids go to university or be able to have enough money to go get married and and then and then or pass over a house to their kids. You know, they're trying to deplete them slowly and slowly and slowly, okay? Yeah, and I'm not complaining because it's first world problems compared to the rest of the world and, you know, issues that people have in Africa of just having clean water is a privilege there, you know. But still, um, 
we do have a good um, quality of life in Australia, and it should be it should be there should be some sort of energy towards it to keep it that way. And people really got to understand that when these politicians get into power, yes, we know they're controlled by the elite, selected, not elected. Okay, fine, but um, we've got to we've got to push out our our opinions and get the word heard. And like I'm doing here, you know, I mean, it's not it's not that I really want to do this, but I do it because it's a voice, and I I I promote everybody to do this and get out and just say your piece. Everybody's opinion's got to be heard. Okay. Anyway, thanks.